women whining about hookup culture but still being part of it for their whole lives are Back on the menu, boy. so let's take a look so we have socrates over here me explaining how true love doesn't exist anymore because no one can stay in a committed relationship because we're all brainwashed and need instant gratification Liar! no women need instant gratification and are brainwashed men still have to pull the hard work in order to get bedroom fun or to get a relationship men have to stick out men have to do things bring things to the table it's women who can just spread their legs and get instant gratification or who can create a, a tinder account and post a picture of their nails and still get men interested in them in the dozens and the whole reason why hookup culture is a thing is because our generation had s3x thrown at us from the moment we got any form of social media so notice how she frames it from the victim's perspective you know getting rid of all accountability yeah it was thrown at me and i just couldn't do anything you can just not partake in hookup culture you know it's not like you are a slave to it it's not like you don't have a choice don't tell me you're innocent because it insults my intelligence. And we all believe that S3X equals love, but we don't crave S3X, we crave commitment, but can't provide it. We want love, but get used for S3X, because there is always the idea in someone's head that there's someone better. No. Okay. No, 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 no. Again, this is something uh, I would, you know, more characteristic for women, for most women. Men are really not part of this. Men don't think in their head that there's always someone better. This is why usually men don't care if, you know, if their girlfriend doesn't earn as much or isn't uh, all as they would want to ideally. Men just don't care, usually. And it's both a good thing and a bad thing. From, from a good perspective, men are more loyal. From the bad perspective, this is where you get simps who, who think in the way that Oh, this girl is the best thing I have, so I don't care if she cheats on me, I don't care uh, if she mistreats me, I don't care if she manip um, manipulates me, because I'm probably not gonna get anything better. And then we have this chick. <laughs> I want a relationship so bad, but I hate the hookup culture. I feel like I'm so far behind in life because I can't get over the fear of someone just talking to me for my body. Is it so much to us to take things slow? I just want to cuddle, watch movies, kiss, and do cute couple things without the pressure of hooking up. So get a relationship, you know? Notice how she wants the things that benefit her. She doesn't want... Of, of course, gentlemen, she's not crazy to have a serious relationship because who, who does that? She wants to go on, on dates and do all the things that benefit her. You know, cuddle, watch movies, do the things that she likes, you know, get taken to uh, dinners be wined and dined, but she doesn't want to give the one thing that men usually crave. The hookup. You know, the bedroom fun. I'd like to clarify that if you are hooking up with someone, or you're just friends with benefits, or it's you don't talk unless you're then you still deserve respect and so does the other person because at the end of the day you're both people who are alive with thoughts most of the time and my thing is i have sometimes i have trouble with like hookup culture and stuff like i'll do it but the thing is i think that my self-respect is just like so much higher not in the form of like hooking up is like disrespectful to yourself like that's not what i'm saying i'm saying is that when you are hooking up with a man they don't recognize you as a person anymore and you are literally just a body so they forget that like they should respect you it's so silly it's not that they don't respect you as a human it's that they don't care enough about you to even think of respect if a guy has five girls around his finger why should he care for them when they are there for recreational purposes if you want respect and commitment and attention and all that, I think you want a relationship. I put up with this man's little inconsistencies and like disrespect, like blatant disrespect. Um, I put it aside um, until right fucking now. And I am never hanging out with him. 
Um, so the reason why this worked for both of us was that because because we didn't talk at all, like in person, like the small talk, but we didn't like talk. Like we, I Snapchatted this man once a day. Never had a second thought about him. Like did not cross my mind. I did not like this man at all. I don't think I like him as a human being, to be honest. Um, he gave me a lot more reasons to dislike him. I can't like think of any real reason why I would like him. Like genuinely, from what I know about him, he was very boring <laughs> and like, bland and like just a man who thought that he was like a comedian but like was not funny and like never he didn't even try i don't know but like i would only hang out with him if he like told me ahead of time like i'm not the type of bitch to like text at 12 a.m and go slide uh uh and he's done that like a million times like every other day actually and i would just ignore him obviously like that's what the fuck but like i would say yes if like i was free and he asked me a few hours ahead because like I'm, I still need a plan. I'm like, I'm not that spur of the moment. And then he told me that he likes when I ask better. And then every single time that I've asked, he has been so fucking annoying about it and like actually an ass that I was like, literally never, no. And then one time he asked, he asked to come to my house. He was like down the road. You guys notice how she's all the time talking about how she dislikes him and he's not really funny and uh, you know, he's annoying, all that stuff. Yet she's here making a TikTok about him and apparently they've met like a hundred times. We'll get to that later, but she's full of crap. Road, and he made me wait an hour and a half and then texted me saying that he smoked too much and he can't drive. Okay, so why did you smoke too much? And then I was at the bar a couple days ago and he saw me and usually he like gives me a hug or whatever. He said hi and then moved me out of the way. <laughs> And today I hit him up because I'm leaving for two weeks tomorrow. So I was like, oh, might as well hit him up while I'm still here. He decided to ignore my message for a few hours instead of answering. So I called him out on it and he goes, relax. I'm literally never fucking talking to you again. You are so annoying. I hate men. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> yeah, you heard her say she hates men and that she's had enough. You heard many women saying how they won't deal with men anymore. Yet they always go back. They never learn because for them it's a toxic addiction. And they are willing to sacrifice anything on the altar for attention. Hi, the, I'm, I got the 10 minute feature and boy do I have a story that I'm going to use for it. Hopefully it will not take 10 minutes. I started talking to a guy at the end of February and we hit it off really well. And like that first week he was like, hey, would you like to go out? And I was like, I'd love to. Thanks for asking. And <clears throat> so we keep talking that week. And by the weekend, I was like, I haven't heard anything about plans. So I like asked him about it. And he was like, yeah, we'll do something on Sunday. But he never said what we would do. And then conveniently on Saturday, he started having a headache and running a fever. And so I was like, you want a rain check? He was like, yeah. So I was like, he was going to ghost me. He was going to ghost me. <clears throat> but then Sunday came around and he was still talking to me. And he was like, yeah, I really am sick. And I was like, man, that sucks. I'm sorry for thinking the worst of you. And then Monday, that next Monday, comes around. Suddenly, his headache and he feels better. So... Obviously, he just did not want to go out for some reason. I don't know, but he did not ghost me. We still talked for another week, and, like, everything was fine and dandy. And then, <clears throat> at the start of the third week, I was like, hey, I mean, do you want to go out? Like, you know, a rain check? Like, it's not raining. <laughs> you want to go? And he was like, yeah, I'll come up with something. And I was like, okay, great. The whole week goes by. And then, take it to, like, Thursday night of the, like, now. I was like, hey, like, you know, if you don't want to go out, that's fine. Because the conversation's been dead this week. And it's like, you can only talk so much on the text messages. Like, we could have FaceTimed or done anything. But we didn't. All it was was text messaging. And um, <clears throat> I was like, hey, if you don't want to go out, that's fine. Just let you let me know. But if you do, what Saturday work? I took the initiative. And he was like, yeah, that'll, that should work fine. Like, I have to work Saturday morning, but it should be, it should be fine. And I was like, okay, great what do you want to do? And <clears throat> at this point in our relationship, he was taking forever to respond. Like he like deliver. I'm talking about deliver. I'm leaning left on delivery for hours. So I was just like, you know, was, like if you're going to ghost me, either ghost me or like be a man and be like, Hey, I'm just not interested anymore. And I can be like, all right, go. Cool. I wish be a man advice for women. Be like men and tell us when you're not interested and you're playing only for money or for attention. Follow your own advice to the best but if you go to me that's just gonna make me mad and want to be petty but i'm an adult so i'm trying not to be petty so anyways <clears throat> where was i so yeah uh we decide we're gonna go bowling on saturday but that's all we've decided so 
today is Saturday. Last night was Friday. Last night at like 8 o'clock, I was like, hey, so time and place, like where would you like to go? I've been left undelivered since then. It is currently 11 a.m. Saturday morning. And we're supposed to go out today, and I don't know where, when, or anything. Why are men like this? It's so pathetic. Use your big boy words and say, hey, I'm just not that interested anymore. It's that easy. And I'll still respect you. Now I have no respect, because what the hell is this? This is... Why are men like this? Not all men are like this. Notice how she's extremely hooked on this guy, because he's clearly out of her league. Do you think she will be checking uh, their chat all the time, waiting anxiously to meet, posting TikToks and rage and thinking about the dude that much if he was average for her? She's clearly after someone out of her league that, <laughs> that probably she will chase for years and then ask the question, where are all the good men? And hit me up. I was like, hey, do you want to go grab some food tonight? I was like, sure. Nothing out of the ordinary, right? Except for... This should have been my first sign. He was like, I'll come pick you up. I was like, okay. So we go out to dinner. Like, I'm not cheap, bitch. That, like, I didn't even order any food. I just got fries because I felt weird that he had, like, picked me up. And I was like, hmm. So then after dinner, we're sitting in his car. And he's like, do you want to go see a movie? And I was like, sure. <laughs> I was just like, sure. So then, like, we're talking for a few minutes. And he leans over and he kisses me. He has the audacity to kiss me. I thought me and Spoit were just friends. So then he kisses me and he can tell, like, I am not into this, okay? So, but I wasn't rude or anything. I was just, just kind of, like, froze. <laughs> I was like, what are we doing here, right? So then he freaks out and he goes quiet. He goes quiet, radio si silence for, like, two minutes. And then he just rips my phone out of my hands. He's like, give me your phone. And he takes it and he has my phone. And I'm like, what? what is he doing? What is he doing? He hands me back my phone and he's like I just put my uber on your phone and uber is gonna be here in five minutes to come pick you up please get out of my car what so you would rather make me stand out here by myself at nine o'clock at night I'm in Chura Boulevard than um you just drive me five minutes back home I've had his uber on my phone for so when's he gonna say something like, why is my Uber account getting charged for an Uber X to pick up a car full of girls at the Cosmopolitan on the Las Vegas Strip? Like, I would be curious. Uh, look at the sky. Go, God. Friends don't owe you a ride home, so go back by yourself. Gentlemen, I didn't believe this when I was younger, but now I do. Men and women can't be just friends. But what do you think? Leave me your comments down below. But guys, let's read a story. A red story I find quite interesting. So, this is on a woman's forum. Uh, why do you think male loneliness and decline in dating is finally getting mainstream coverage? We are now starting to see mainstream media outlets like CNN cover the plight of single lonely men. They cited the study showing 63% of young men identifying themselves as single compared to only 34% of women. You also see progressives like Scott Galloway finally talking about this as well as articles appearing in the New York Times. What do you think is behind this? I don't know, probably a lot of womanists and just undating material women. You know, roundly not reliable and good options for men, I would say. Uh, it's not like men have become, you know, all homosexuals or just asexuals or whatever. <laughs> it's not like men don't want to form families. It's that most of them can't in the sense that they're not willing to put up with BS, honestly. Previously, you've only found discussions of these issues in the manosphere or in niche online spaces like this one. Uh, yeah, the, the red pill, men going their own way, just the manosphere in general uh, have been whining about this, you know, about the bad state of affairs in, of dating for years, and now you're starting to pay attention. Is this starting to affect the workforce? Is the... Quitting the game rate among men becoming too high? Is the problem simply too large to ignore now with too much data backing it up? <laughs> uh, what do you think, gentlemen? I think this is a good discussion. I'm honestly surprised that a woman has brought this up. It happens ever so often that, you know, there is some <laughs> enlightened individual of the female gender that, you know, takes a look at this and says, hey, 
maybe you know what they've been saying for years is true maybe there is a problem in dating but what do you guys think leave me a comment down below and i will see you next time have a good one